How does one man's life become larger than life? Does his heart beat with a different rhythm? Do his dreams dance in brighter colors? Do his fists fly faster than the wind? Or do his humble origins in Seattle's Chinatown hold the secret to the lasting legend of Bruce Lee? Welcome to the Wing Luke Museum's newest exhibit, Do You Know Bruce? It's a tribute to a man named by Time Magazine as one of the greatest heroes of the 20th century, who upended stereotypes of Asians in the film industry and kicked the term action star into a new stratosphere. But before his international acclaim, Bruce Lee was a young man who studied philosophy at the University of Washington and opened his first Kung Fu school in Seattle back in 1963. Seattle meant a great deal to Bruce. Linda Lee Cadwell, Bruce's widow, remembers that year well. In September, he asked her on their first date in the middle of a training session where she was his student. But on this occasion, when he threw me down to the ground, he said to me, how would you like to go to the Space Needle? Moments like these have been captured throughout this exhibit, how the man who reworked our concept of martial arts started by working at Ruby Chow's restaurant, how the man known for his fighting spirit espoused a philosophy of peace. He loved the Pan-Asian community and um, the whole diversity of Seattle. And Bruce Lee was a man who did not judge a person by what race they were. And personally, he was always writing and always reading and always forming his own way of life in his mind. And that all started here in Seattle. This was my idea. Linda and Bruce's daughter, Shannon, who now runs the, the Bruce the Lee Foundation, Tunnel. sees him as a true Seattle icon who broke down societal barriers long before he broke into the movie industry. This is where he first started to teach. You weren't supposed to teach Chinese Kung Fu to non-Chinese, but he didn't care. Anyone who had a real sincere interest in learning what Kung Fu was, he wanted to teach them. It's a lesson not lost on the city's leaders in full uniform for an official proclamation. In Seattle, Bruce Lee Day. Council members Bruce Harrell and Nick Licata say Bruce Lee embodies Seattle's ethic of determination, innovation, and an optimistic push towards the future. I like to think that he carried on the culture of Seattle, of being open, of being generous, of really being uh, a true human being who cared about other folks. He's inspirational. I think that's what our city continues to need is inspiration. So that's what this day represents. That's what Bruce Lee represents. And it is a lasting inspiration for Bruce Lee's best friend in Seattle, Taki Kimura. When I see all these things about Bruce, I'm, I'm just so happy because all these years have gone by. He could be forgotten, you know. There you are again. It's been more than 40 years since Bruce Lee's untimely death at the age of 32. But Kimura says the power of Bruce Lee's influence now seen in a new light at the Wing Luke Museum, is as strong as ever. He left a legacy of who he was and, and all this and the history about him. Uh, to this day, I think that's why he's still remembered well. It is the legacy of one man's life who became larger than life. It is the story of a man who established his roots right next door to us before he blossomed into a superstar. I think he kind of represents the whole spirit of Seattle. The meaning of his life and his message is still relevant. It has to do with being your best self and cultivating who you are and expressing that and empowering people. I mean, there's so much division in the world between people and he's a person who brings people together.
Watch CityStream Thursday nights at 7 on the Seattle Channel. Or get video on demand and podcasts anytime at seattlechannel.org.